Today, we need to build like the future depends on it. That's why we developed the Smart Enclosure System to help you, the building professional, create buildings that are optimized for comfort, durability, energy efficiency, low toxicity, and specifically high carbon impact to fight climate change. We can do this. Find out more about the Smart Enclosure and take advantage of a ton of free resources on our website. Because we need to fight climate change with every tool imaginable, masonry retrofits must be no exception. Yes, retrofitting itself is an act of sustainability, but now we must be more ambitious. We know we can make our historic buildings smart enclosures while retaining their essential historic fabric for future generations. So let's walk through a typical masonry retrofit wall assembly, orienting ourselves the exteriors to the left and the interiors to the right. Above will be the vertical section and below the plan view. Often in such a project, it's already been decided that the historic exterior will be preserved to keep its pride of place in the community, and so we'll need to insulate on the interior. With the mention of interior insulation, alarm bells start to go off about potential freeze-thaw damage, and too often, this threat is used as a scare tactic. Don't be discouraged. We can take freeze-thaw seriously and do this safely. How's that, you might ask? Well, all right, let's take this step by step. Building science tells us what's business. First, we gotta address bulk water issues by putting the masonry structure and its old water shedding details like the cornices, sills, the pointing, leaders, and maybe even a gargoyle spout or two back in good working order. If we do that, We've done the heavy lifting to avoid freeze-thaw damages and can ensure, along with the other measures I'll be explaining, a long-lasting structure, while even possibly making the craziest preservationists happy too. The next building science measure up is air tightness, and we start with the interior face of the exterior masonry wall, which will be our secondary air control layer, or wind-tight layer, preventing wind from degrading the insulation. Here we apply a liquid membrane by Proclima called Viscon. It can be sprayed or brushed on and forms a flexible and durable vapor permeable air control layer. Then, two by wall framing is installed. Use wood, not metal. Almost every day of the week, it's better. Hold the framing clear of the masonry surface, providing a gap that allows for insulation to be continuous. But hold on, before installing that insulation, we want to install the primary air barrier which does double duty as a smart vapor retarder, and it's called Intello Plus. It gets installed on the interior face of the wood framing, where it will keep the conditioned air in the conditioned space. Because this air barrier is a smart vapor retarder too, it will minimize wetting of the enclosure in winter and allow robust drying inward in the summer. We tape up the Intello seams with Tescon Vanna to make it airtight. With air tightness and smart vapor control, the wall's drying potential is maximized, and the risk of moisture damage, including freeze-thaw, is further minimized. Now, before blowing the insulation into the wall cavity, we install 2 by wood horizontal battens 20 inches on center to support the membrane and to provide a service cavity. The name service cavity is pretty unimpressive, but the service cavity is transformative, increasing durability exponentially, as it allows us to limit the number of penetrations through the air barrier where we can place outlets, wires, pipes, and even ducts in board of the membrane. The insulation will typically be plant-based, not poison-colored green like petroleum-based high-embodied energy spray foam. Yuck! No! This is real tree-hugging. Tree-based cellulose and wood fiber have very low embodied carbon and sequester large amounts of carbon that the tree removed from the atmosphere we recommend dense packing thermofiber by Gutex. Make that old masonry building a carbon bank. And did we mention these insulations are excellent moisture buffers and provide great sound insulation as well. Even with all this great protection, we can't stop thinking about freeze thaw. And what everyone wants to know is how thick can the insulation be? And unfortunately, we gotta say that's gonna depend. It's good to have a woofy hydrothermal analysis completed to help determine insulation levels with acceptable levels of risk. What I can say is that we see this approach regularly hitting passive house or near passive house performance with very moderate levels of insulation where the risk is well managed. And good God, 
Please, please, please be sure to verify the air tightness with a blower door test before you install the finishes. It should feel like putting on your pants before leaving the house. So with our pants on and a small victory achieved, there you have it. That's our typical masonry retrofit wall smart enclosure. We have these details free to download in ebook and DWG form on our site so you can use them yourself. We also have a photo gallery that goes with this ebook. We'll have much, much more coming soon, so subscribe to this channel to keep up with each release. Thanks for watching.